Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain, and boy, have I got a lot of new information to share with you. Today's July the 12th, 2012, and we had a two new applications hit the App Store today. Just in case you didn't hear, Amazing Alex, and you guessed it, Tiny Wings. All right, first up. Amazing Alex by Rovio, I think that's how you pronounce that. This is the same company that developed Angry Birds and all the other amazing applications along the way. So, I'm going to keep the volume turned off for several different reasons, but primarily because YouTube's been giving me a little bit of trouble with the volume and... and copyrights and all that. Let me show you a little bit of the gameplay on here. I did a more in-depth review if you want to look at it. Check it out on my channel here. You drag these little pieces over here and this is a book up here it goes. You got to make the little ball bounce and hit all the objects and put your soccer ball in the basket, okay? That was completed with three stars. I did that perfectly. Okay. Now, what is so good about this game is you can sync with iCloud. And what that means is you can play up through any level on here and then go pick up your iPhone or iPod if, or a different iPad if you have them with the same iCloud account on them, that is. And you can pick up right here where we just left off if you wanted to. That, that just helps you save gameplay like if you play on your iPad at home or if you're at work or at a doctor's office playing and you complete two or three levels, you don't lose your place. When you come back home and pick it back up, you start where you left off. Everybody knows what Tiny Wings is. And before I go on too far, Amazing Alex is $1.99. Tiny Wings HD, which you're looking at here on the iPad, is $1.99. But if you have the iPhone or iPod version, it's a free update if you already had Tiny Wings installed. If not, it's 99 cents. And this is what it looks like. You've got a, four or five different islands, and then it says new islands coming soon. I want to make sure I keep my camera in focus really well. And let me show you how this looks. We have to race the different birds. And this is a hard, hard to do, guys. You might not think it is. But it's a lot harder than it looks. You know, it's just where I'm such a good player to make it look easy. See, there I screwed up on that deal. And pretty much, whenever you touch that screen, it's, it drops just about straight down. See there? I'm not a very good Tiny Wings player, as you can tell. Well, I didn't finish last anyway, or did I? No, third place. I beat one of them anyhow. The, the second place was only like one second better. Okay, guys, that's $1.99. Okay? Uh, next up is one called Antarctica. This is a little penguin. It's something like uh, along the same lines of his, uh, Temple Run. You have to move the game back and forth and I'm no good at it at all but I'm going to show you what to do anyway. You have to eat these fish along the way and avoid these little red puffer looking things here. Okay. The graphics on this is just amazing. See when you tilt the screen you have to guide this little You have to guide this little thing, and you, and you want to get those things like that. And 
and avoid the little red fish, they're dangerous. The more fish you eat, the better off you're going to do. And you want to stay away from that big star looking fish there. Those are bad news. This is wearing my arm out, but I'll get through it. Ah. Am I gonna do it? I don't know. Uh oh. I shouldn't have. I should have got that little thing there, but I missed it. I missed. Alright, guys, that's what Antarctica Penguin, I think it is. It's a really cool game. The graphics on it just pop right off the screen. Um. If I ain't mistaken, it's $1.99 too. Oh, my arm's broke. Another one that's just come out is called Frogger. If you're a Frogger fan, this is Frogger HD. Guys, I love Frogger. I grew up playing Frogger back in 1981. I was about eight years old or nine. And Frogger was just come out on Atari. And you probably get, you, you young guys don't even know what Atari even is, probably. But anyway, I'm going to show you what it looks like here on what I used to play. Okay, hopefully you know the object of the game. you got to miss the little cars, and you got to put your all of your frogs up here across the top. You start the game, touch the screen to the right, to the left. And the object of a game is get your frogs up there at the top. You can see it's a pretty simple game, but very, very fun to play. All right, guys, another one of my all-time favorites. And here again, this is sort of like Temple Run. It's got the same type of uh, effect anyway. You have to run from this guy. This is free. But you can plot, you can buy coins inside if you want to, which I, you don't have to, but. You swipe left and right, you jump those things. This little guy, he can jump a mile. And I ran right into the back end of that train. You see what it looks like. And that's what you gotta do, you just keep running jumping to get away from that dog that dog and that security guard are trying to get you and you don't want to it's hard to play behind the camera I'm not making any excuses though uh, another awesome game is a free game is Mega Run and this game to me plays a whole lot like a like the old Mario Brothers. There's just the way it's laid out and everything about it. You just have to jump and, and collect all these different jewels. And I'm not going to take very long here. Hopefully I won't have to. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to get killed that quick. You just barely tap, and it don't jump as far. You t you hold it down a long way, real hard, and you jump further. If that makes sense. And you can sort of see why I, th I say that it looks more like Mario Brothers put you in mind of it. And even at the end, if I can make it that far, you have to jump and even...
See, here's the little balloons. You remember the pole at the end you had to jump through on Mario Brothers? That's free, guys. Check it out. It's a very good game.